Okay, so today's tomato review is going to be on the purple cabalash tomato. So let's take a closer look at the inside of one of these. Actually, let's look at the outside of this tomato. And you can see what it looks like. Now, some people refer to this, to this type of tomato as an ugly tomato. That's like a category they call these kind of tomatoes. But to me, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking tomato. Acquiring seeds for this tomato was actually a little bit on a difficult side. I happened to get lucky and find seeds online from someone and they sold them to me and I got lucky but this isn't an easy tomato to find seeds for you might get lucky but if I could find something in the Amazon links I'll, I'll put it in the uh, description but I remember having a hard time trying to acquire seeds for this tomato so you could see all the ridging the very pronounced ridging around the shoulders and you can see that it's a very thin type of tomato. Now these do get bigger than this. These will get substantially bigger. And they all keep this kind of flat shape. Amazingly. See how it's kind of flat? This one happens to have like a little... I don't know, like it looks almost like a Y stamped in there. Like it's stamped. That's just a tomato anomaly. But... It's a wonderful tomato. I've grown these last year for the first time and they were good. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to finish up all the reviews and it was getting late in the year. I couldn't review this tomato last year, but I remember it being pretty good, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's what it looks like on the outside. Here's another one. Like I say, these are kind of small. I've probably got a half dozen more on the vine, hoping that they get bigger. But it looks like the... the Late blight and early blight and all the other stuff and the insects, the aphids are coming in now and are just wiping out the tomato plants. So I don't think they're going to get any bigger than what you see here this year. But these do get bigger, uh, pretty big actually, maybe twice the size of this. Okay, and you can see this size in my hands, so they'll get about twice that size. They could get up to a pound almost, should I say. So here's the bottom of one that I cut open. Try to get you good lighting in there. And it's got a very interesting seed chambering system. You can see that it's got multiple chambers all the way around. And it's just got like this veiny star pattern on the inside of the tomato, which is kind of unusual. You can see where it just kind of shoots all over the place. Very strange looking interior of a tomato. Uh, I do see wilding all the way around it. You can see it in the middle and on the edges. You can see the seeds got like a nice dark green color to them. And that's a good sign of a purple tomato. So you might get tomatoes that kind of look like they're purple. But if they don't got that green seed in the middle, that's really not a purple tomato. Your purple tomatoes really got to have this green looking lime green seed color. I'm trying to give you the best view you can here. It's hard to see on the camera. I don't know as far as what the skin is, so let's take a taste test on this and see what it tastes like. Well, right out the gate, it was very tangy. I don't remember it being that tangy last year, but this year, man, we're talking tang, lemon tang. We're talking mouth puckering type of tang, but not very strong. I'd say 35%, maybe 38%. It's kind of strong. It's kind of up there. It's not overwhelming. But it, it's a it's a mouth puckering type of tang. It's not a smooth type of tanginess. It's really citrusy, should I say? And it's got a very low sweetness. I'd say maybe twenty percent on the sweetness. It's a watery tomato in between that, and it does have a pretty prominent tomato flavor. So the tang wants to deliver that flavor in, but because it makes your mouth pucker so much, it it really doesn't deliver the flavor of the tomato very well. Not to say that 
it's not worth growing because it doesn't deliver a good tomato flavor. It could just be this one tomato, but I'll take another bite. My palate is now adjusted, so let's see if it is less tangy. No matter what I do, it's citrusy type tangy. It's very citrusy like a lemon. It's not a bad tasting thing. It just tastes like as if I took lemon and squeezed it on top of this. But it doesn't taste like lemon per se. It's that citrusy type of taste, a lime or a lemon. It's a very, very tangy tomato. Now again, that could be because it was just an off year for tomatoes. And so maybe the flavor needs to develop a little better through a better season. Could be a little bit of that. But I do remember eating this last year and not tasting it quite as tangy. So it's hard to say what's going on. I'll cut this one open as well. There's another one I cut. And you can see the, the way this tomato chambers. Very interesting. A lot of chambers on there. This would probably make a good sauce tomato. I mean, I'm just because there's a lot of seeds in it, I'm not saying it's not going to make a good tasting sauce tomato. But because there's so many seeds in it, you're going to get a very, very watery type of sauce. It's not going to be as meaty. Though I do see some meat in the middle. You would just need a lot of these tomatoes to make a really, really good sauce. So I'd have to try that one year and then give you a, an, a my opinion on as far as how good it is for sauce. As far as, to, you know, putting this in a salad or on sandwiches would be fine, providing that lemon taste isn't overwhelming on every single tomato. We'll take a bite out of this and see if it's the same thing. It's basically the same thing. It wasn't quite as tangy as that first one, but still it has that citrusy lemon tangy effect to it. Very strong. It's kind of overwhelming. Anybody who's not a real big tomato fan probably wouldn't like this tomato. If you're somebody who has a sensitivity towards tangy tomatoes and you don't really care for real tangy type tomatoes, this probably wouldn't be a tomato for you. I, I can't suggest that. Even though, like I've said, I've had this in the past, but I don't remember it being this soury type of tangy. Not like this. This is very, very tangy. So this may not be a tomato for you if you don't really want to deal with that overwhelming tang flavor. I probably wouldn't serve this to guests knowing that the, the tang might throw people off not knowing what their taste is. So I probably wouldn't use this tomato for that. I would pro probably try and use it for tomato sauce because I could add a little sugar or honey to my tomato sauce and it would kind of balance out that tangy flavor. I could do that. But right now, I'd be a little careful how you use it in your cooking because it might not be working with your dish. If you open one of these tomatoes and it tastes tangy and soury like that as well, like you buy seeds and you grow it and it, you have that same effect, I would say probably just use it for now like in your own salads. Don't, you, don't add vinegar to your salad because this is actually tangy enough to give you that vinegary type of effect. I wouldn't add vinegar to the salad, just put the tomato in there, put some cheese in there, put a little olive oil, and make your salad that way, but don't add the vinegar. Allow this tomato to provide that tangy flavor, and you'd be fine with it that way. But per, if you add the vinegar to it as well, it might make it overwhelmingly mouth-puckering tangy. You don't want to do that with a salad because it kind of just offsets the whole effect of your salad. As far as slicing it and putting it on tomatoes, I, I mean, on, uh, as far as slicing it and putting it on a hamburger or something, I don't see why that would be a problem because the, ham the fat from the hamburger and the cheese kind of balances out a lot of that flavor. You probably won't get overwhelmed with it. But just eating it by itself, it's, uh, it's a little tangy for me. I'll put a little salt on it. The salt definitely helps it, but... It's not a cure-all to the situation with the overwhelmingly tangy flavor. The skins were a little tough on this, too. I had to spit them out. I, you're not going to see it on the video, but I was spitting the skins out because they're just too tough. And you, if you chew them up, you can swallow them. It's just, I just want to eat the tomato, basically swallow the skin with it. If, it stay, if the skin stays back, even after I try to swallow it, then I just spit them out. I mean, eventually you can chew it up and swallow it, but when they're t too tough or they just kind of hang around in your mouth even after you swallow mo the majority of the tomato, I spit them out. So as far as me rating this tomato, I'm going to rate it number three this year because of the tangy flavor was just 
offsetting the sweetness and it was just too too um, citrusy for me uh, for a tomato and when I'm eating a tomato I don't mind if I want to eat a lemon I don't mind that eating a lemon but if I'm eating a tomato I kind of want to eat a tomato and not have to deal with the, the citrus lemon effect so I, I can't go any higher than three with it one being the highest but still it's a gorgeous tomato to grow maybe if you tweak the soil add a lot of lime to the soil guys definitely when you when you're growing tomatoes you want to make sure that lime is in the soil because they need that calcium to help balance out any of that bitter effect it may be getting from your soil if your soil pH is too low that tends to make tomatoes kind of on the bittery tangy side so I'm under the impression that my soil that I grew this in which was growing outdoors was probably pH was probably a little low so I need to bring that pH up I need to add some more bags of lime to the garden sweeten up that soil for next year and I'll probably get much better tasting tomatoes I do believe that the tomatoes this year were kind of soury and tangy more than normal is because there just simply wasn't enough lime in the soil so we got to add uh, the lime next year but outside of that like I say it's a it's a number it's a number three as far as my rating and that's about it for the purple cabalash it's either pronounced cabalash or cabalash so pick your choice I'll put the right spelling inside the description and you'll be able to review the tomato from there Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.